Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft series. And this time around, I thought I'd show you the additions to my base mostly. And maybe after I've done this episode, I'll go in on some cave exploring. I've found a bunch of caves when I've been digging around and building stuff. But first off, uh, yeah, all my ovens are working 24-7 to make smooth stone or just regular stone so I can make the half steps that I need. Uh, nothing has been improved inside of my base, I think. Everything is outside on the other project. So let's just go outside here. Uh, we can start with uh, this one here. I just did a, a tunnel here, which is just a shortcut to get to the area which I've been working on mostly nowadays. So you can see the, the half steps are in place for the floorings, but the walls and roof aren't done yet. It's all gonna be half steps, maybe some glass formation, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but at least the flooring is done and all these passageways here are new. And I've terraformed a lot of this ground and even further that way now. And as you can see out in the ocean, there's uh, my tower which I'm building, it's full half steps and with glass windows in certain patterns. All symmetrical. And this is the, yeah, I'm just gonna start calling it my church. And as you can see up there, the roof is completed, the second story of the building. But uh, I, I guess we can go inside the church first and you can see there's some glass over here. Uh, this is my under underground or under the ocean passageway to get to my tower safely. And as you can see, this passageway ends here abruptly, but that's because this bridge is getting moved over here, so it's perfectly lined up with the center of my church. I just got wooden doors at the moment. It's just a temporary fix for now. But here's inside my church, and not much has changed in here from last time, as far as I can remember. I think I had the staircases in place then, one on each side, and the water on the right, and the lava on the left. And this is just a temporary holding place for my some stuff when I've been constructing things in here and just so I can sleep and uh, get rid of the daytime. I also added these two paintings here next to the windows and uh, next to the window in the center there just to make it, you know, fill out the empty spaces instead of just copying this, these two small windows on that side, I decided to go with two paintings. Uh, that was the largest I could find. There's some that are more rectangular but I went with these uh, square ones instead. But let's go up and check on the roof. As you can see here, this pattern is still in place, the same pattern. It's wood, glass, half step, wood, glass, half step, and so on. We can go upstairs and have a look. We can hear a pig outside, annoying the crap out of me. Let's just go up to the second story here. So as you can see, I've added fences all around, all around the, uh, the roof here, so I won't fall off. Also added fences here, where the passageway, so I don't accidentally walk down here and fall down the staircase. Uh, but the roof is the most impressive part in my own opinion. I'm really satisfied with it. Uh, as you can see, there's... Uh, yeah, it's not 100% solid. It's all made in half steps. It's all connected on all the four sides. It looks like a proper roof somehow. The rectangular shape of it. And uh, yeah, I really like the, the spacing between the half steps here. It uh, lets in the, the sunlight and the moonlight as well for that reason. And uh, it just makes it look way more complex somehow. But it's not much different from just a full solid roof if I just built this instead of keeping the spacing and just built half steps. Uh, but it gives uh, a nice look to it and a nice feel to it as well. And as you can see, I'm pretty close to the islands up there. You can see where the waterfall is going down here into the uh, into my church and the lava fall as well down to the holding tanks on the first floor. But yeah, that's the roof added and I'm pretty much done with this. Uh, I'm just gonna use this uh, story as a vantage point basically. You can see my skull statue in the distance over there. You can see this bridge which is getting moved and you can see the tower which I, I'm not completed. It's still a work in progress. And I'm gonna add lava around it, or I'm gonna make it into a lava tower, like my water tower over here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I'm just gonna use this story of the church for a vantage point. You can see everything, the plateau is over there, and... And the um, roller coaster, and the skull statue, and everything. And you can see under there, under the sea, there's some glass 
a glass construction, that's a tunnel. I'm going to show you that soon, in just a bit. Uh, it seems it's turning night time, I don't really like that. I'm going to go downstairs and sleep in just a second whenever the sun goes down and the moon comes up. Uh, but that's the second floor of my church completed with the roofing and everything in place and done. And I've also added a sub floor here, a basement to my church. So we can go downstairs here. So here's my little... I got a suggestion from somehow, I'm sorry I don't remember your YouTube username. But uh, he wanted a, a kind of a museum-like thing with uh, all the bricks of Minecraft. And these are not all the bricks of Minecraft just yet. I'm missing uh, the new pine wood and some other bricks that I can't remember at the moment on top of my head. But I'm missing a few things. But this is a, at least it's a start. And there's uh, most of the bricks or the different brick types in Minecraft. And I've also added paintings to the right and to the left. Just to make it more museum-like. And the floor is all water uh, with the nether rack from the nether burning. And a glass flooring so you can see downstairs. First off, I thought about making a disco floor down here. Uh, it turned out to be one, too dark, so mobs would spawn down here and I would have to put torches everywhere which would ruin the whole effect. And two, it actually lagged Minecraft for me because the, the floor, the, the area is just too big and with all the blinking redstone torches and everything it would lag the crap out of my game. And it pissed me off so much that I removed it and came up with this idea instead, which took a while. I was kind of thought blocked for a while and I was like, what am I supposed to I just stood down here for 30 minutes staring. What, what should I fill this space with? What am I supposed to do with this, all this space now? And uh, I didn't just want to fill up the floor again and just make half steps. So I kept the glass and I just came up with this solution instead. And it looks okay with the fire and the blue from the water. But we can go take a, look, a closer look at the brick wall here, at the museum. As you can see there's some green wool. I'm also missing uh, the lapis ore, which is the blue that you need to make blue dyes and purple dyes and everything. So I'm missing a few of the dyed uh, wool and also that the block itself, the ore block itself. And these are gold blocks. And the middle one for here are iron blocks. This is just a pattern I made. I, I just kind of stuck with it. But you can see here with green wool and there's some clay I think and obsidian and a snow block. There's a workbench, uh, pink wool, uh, that's a dispenser, a brick, that's a diamond block, so that's nine diamond right there. Uh, a box, and that's grey wool, maybe, I think, and there's some glass, and behind the glass there's TNT block. Because I don't, didn't want to accidentally, yeah, and here's the poof, whoops, explosions everywhere. So I hid it behind the glass, so you can still see the TNT block, but it's protected from me being a dumbass. And exploding my whole shit and that's just smooth stone, netherrack, cobblestone, sand um, that's a pumpkin lantern or jack lantern half sips uh, wooden trunk, uh, normal wool, gravel uh, a furnace, orange, green wool that is, uh, planks, uh, a normal pumpkin uh, sandstone, uh, darker, I think that's black That's black wool probably there's some grey wool, that's some black wool and that's some light grey wool and a bookshelf, yellow, mossy stone, a glowstone, that's a note block or a jukebox, I can't remember, maybe maybe I'm just gonna st stick with one because they look the same except for the top part of the jukebox so this could be either one. Dirt and some red wool, well, that's pretty much it for now, so I'm missing uh, the purple dyes, the blue dyes and the mixes that you can make with blue dyes. Uh, some of the, the newer, the, the pine tree trunks and some other stuff. So I'm not done with it, but uh, if someone's really, really enthusiastic about it, you can uh, type in a comment of this video or on my YouTube profile, which blocks am I missing? You can pause the video, I'll give you a, a nice look of it as close as I can without getting out of... There we go. That's what I got for now. You can pause the video here and check what blocks am I missing. And we'll go back upstairs and I think we'll go sleep in the bed real quick just to get uh, the night time away so you can actually see something. Even though most of the outside is very lit up at the moment because I've been working outside a lot. I'm gonna go sleep anyway. 
Let me just make wait uh, three four seconds it takes to sleep and it's gonna be daytime again there we go uh, we can go this way did I do something else over there no so let's leave the church for now I can't pick anything uh, we can go on these passageways here that I made they're all completed and this one goes all the way over here and now I just remember what I forgot. I forgot to uh, bring ladders, because I can't get up into my tower without it, but maybe. Uh, I'll fix that somehow. Uh, this is the entrance to the tunnel, the submerged tunnel, that takes me to my in-progress tower. Still in progress, still building it. It's all glass, some half steps to holding torches, because torches can't uh, be put on glass surfaces for some reason. I thought they changed that in a patch, but maybe I misread. I can't put them up anyway. So this is the tunnel that takes me to the tower in the middle of the ocean. And here's where I obviously need ladders. And you can hear when I'm here. You can hear things. Sounds like it's moving on gravel. If you look very, very carefully, especially during the night time, you can see the squids down there. That's the ones that making noises. Because they keep hitting, swimming into the bottom, and touching the dirt. So it sounds like someone's walking on the dirt. Pretty fun. I can see one there right now. It's very faint though, swimming around. There's lots of squids around here because it's pretty deep. But yeah, that's my tower, and I don't have any dirt with me, so I'll just use cobblestone to get up. Okay. So we're in my tower. This is just the first story. So no windows here yet. I think I'm gonna add just small square windows. And I've also added uh, just a, f a small 2x2 two two glass formation to let the sunlight in during the daytime. And you can go upstairs and everything is in half steps and glass. Even the staircases are in full half steps. So there's some glass formations. They're all the same on either side. Some are blocked by some of the staircase, but that doesn't matter. It's okay with me. From the outside it looks good. And on the second floor, which is a bit bigger, you can see one, two, three, instead of just one and the staircase turning once and then adding a floor next to that. So these glass formations are a little bit bigger than the, the ones downstairs. And you can also go upstairs here. And I think that's where I stopped because I ran out of resources. And you can see uh, over here is my spawn point. It used to be over here. And then my game crashed when I was playing it. No, my computer crashed or my hard drive crashed when I was playing it and my spawn point moved over here. So yeah. But that bridge is getting moved over there. So it connects to the passageway or the pathway there on the ground and it's gonna go all the way over here. So I can just walk the bridge back every time I die. It doesn't happen often, but I die sometimes. And you can see in the distance this island. I think this is where we went exploring a couple of episodes ago. The big exploration where I found some tunnels. It looks really good from this distance. You can also see here, uh, there's my base, and there's the tunnel, there's a bridge, passageways, and the church or whatever, floating island on top of it. it. Looks pretty cool. The roof looks good from this distance as well, I must say. And there's just a normal tower and the passageway between there. Oh, yeah, I've started renovating the, the towers as well. The floors at the moment are now changed to half steps from cobblestone and I'm going to change the whole walls but I ran out of resources as I said so uh, I have to farm some cobblestone and wood and all kinds of stuff to complete the renovations of my two towers and the passageway but it's in progress and I do believe that is it for this episode I can't think of anything else I did well the renovating of the but it's just the floors that have been uh, it's been replaced with half steps. Is there something else? There's not. There's nothing else. I'm pretty sure I missed something, but uh, you got a small tour at least. And uh, maybe I'll go make some armor and a diamond sword or something. As you can see, these uh, small dirt things here. Uh, that's an indicator that I heard when I was building this tunnel, and I was mocking about I think I swam through here because I wanted to swim over to my tower uh, I heard zombies skeletons and things moving under the ocean 
So I dug down and found entrances to cave systems. It might be big, it might be small, I don't know, but I want to explore them. So maybe I'll just go do that now. But uh, you don't have to watch me create my armor and everything for that. So in the next episode we'll go just uh, small cave explorations, if they're not extremely huge. We'll see what happens. So post your comments uh, what you think, and I'll see you guys for the next episode.